Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is going to be just a quick uh, little piece of good news for people like Corrine's brother that we prayed for. She had requested prayer for her brother who was about to be evicted from being out of work for, um, I don't know how long it was. But anyway, it, um, I am not sure if this is going to pertain to people who are out of work for other reasons, such as he sprained his ankle and couldn't walk on it. So he's been out of work three weeks. I mean, I don't know what reason he's been out of work. If it's COVID-19 related, for sure, this has pertains to them. But but now I don't know if it pertains to everybody. But I'm going to just let you hear the president say it for himself. I'm at the 5 minute and 30 some 31 second mark, I think. I'm going to play it from here. 533. Three. Go. Very brave. They're taking a lot of risk and they, uh, they have done an incredible job and they never complain. Today I'm also announcing that the Department of Housing and Urban Development is providing immediate relief to renters and homeowners by suspending all foreclosures and evictions until the end of April. So we're working very closely with Dr. Ben Carson and everybody from HUD. Uh, every generation of Americans has been called to make shared sacrifices for the good of the nation. In World War II, young people in their teenage years volunteered to fight. They wanted to fight so badly because they love our country. Workers refused to go home and slept on factory floors to keep assembly lines running. And, you know, the numbers of ships that they built during World War II to this day. Okay, I think he's moved on to something else there. So it was just a very quick uh, announcement in this particular video that... Uh, one of y'all shared with me, um, of course, you got the CDC thing there. Let me see. It's called Trump Coronavirus Task Force Hold a Press Conference at the White House. Okay. And it's on Fox News. Okay, so that's probably believable. So, if anybody you know is facing eviction or foreclosure, please tell them to make sure they make some phone calls. I, it doesn't, he didn't go into how you go about doing that, but your landlords and your Mortgage holders, although nobody should be that far behind in their mortgage if they're facing foreclosure. Uh, but, like I said, I don't know if it includes everybody or does it only include people affected by COVID-19. I don't know. That's something you'll have to find out uh, because they did not get into that. Okay, it wasn't made clear. So with that, I'm going to end this and say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.